pussy out and do some farming. Crime rate is getting alarming. Need a preacher to say some momming. Can't move the Jimmy Shaman. See a bank is growing charming. Businessman in order to exist, gotta do some farming. Down in the hood, business good. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Keys on TV. It's your boy Keys on. I am back at it again with the Kimmy Banger. Today's video, I'm going to be doing uh, exposing my subscribers' truths challenge. So here's what's the funny thing about this shit. I was trying to get about at least 10 to about 15 people to do this. I think I got about nine, so I guess that's cool. And some of these secrets, y'all wild as fuck for them, bro. Like, dead ass. We got one with, um, secret, which, which one is this? It's, uh, sending some random ass news or like, one talking about, well, let me go to that shit, y'all fried, bro. Call it with an X or some shit, bro. This shit finna be funny as fuck reading this. Before we get into this video though, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn these post notifications on. I need y'all to share this video. And let's get into it. The first one is. The first one was this girl I was talking to had posted the flicks I sent her because my girl told her. Told no, my girl told me I can't be cool with her or some shit. Okay, first of all, she must be in a saho. So you know them. Once they get too comfortable in their position, you know they're going to want to be the main hoe type. You know what I mean? And she probably wasn't even, you know, one of no random hoes. She was probably like her best friend type shit. So she was probably fucking around with you, trying to see how it was. And then once she got cool with it, and then, you know, she wasn't going to try to let go. So she's going to tell her girl. And it's like, right, you knew you were going to get fucked up at that point. Like, that ass. I don't even know why you even tried that shit. You know, like, if I got one girl, I'm, I'm sticking with that one. I'm not finna, like, cheat. Dead ass. All right, let me go to the second one. You wild for that one, bro. I lost my virginity behind a family dollar store. Man, what the fuck is you what talking about? What the fuck about, was nigga? that? I'm sorry, man. No, 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 I wasn't thinking about it. Always not. Yo, you wildin' for that. Oh my god. I know y'all asses for not that horny to be going as behind a family dollar. I mean, I done did some shit in like random places, but behind a family dollar store, bro. You going out sad. I'm not even cap. Bro. <laughs> hey, but hey, hey, do you? Like I don't care. I'm not that I'm not that horny though. All right, let me see the third one. It says, I once didn't participate in a wave at a football game. I don't know what the fuck that shit is. So I'm, I'm guessing they was doing some cheer or some late type shit and you wasn't doing it. Okay, that's understandable. Hey, there was, let me see. I went to high school one point. I like, let me see, let me see. They was doing, like, I was at a basketball game, I think. And we supposed to like sing a song or some shit. Nah, no, I wouldn't participate in that shit because first of all, I'm not doing none of that. I'm one of them nonchalant kids who don't participate in just about anything. You know why? Because either I'm lazy or I just don't give a fuck. And to be honest, you know, I was never one of those sports kids anyway. The only sport I played was like, uh, what, let me see, what was it? Track, yeah, track. And I wasn't that good at it because my stamina ain't that up. So it's whatever. The fourth one, I fucked a junkie behind a dumpster for some cocaine. Oh, you, oh my, you tripping, oh. <laughs> oh my God, what the fuck? You really did that shit, bro? Mm, you all can't say your name, but this, at this, you, tri you tripping, bro. Coke? You really gonna do it for coke, dog? I mean, Probably some weed, probably. No, I'm just I'm playing. But I don't know if I, uh, oh my god, I don't know what to say about that one. That shit is kind of. Oh, you want some freaky shit. And you must be fucking anything if you're gonna fuck some junkie behind a dumpster. Oh my god, I wish I could tell my friends about this shit. But you know what? I'm just keeping it to myself. Fifth one, I stole out of my teacher's purse. Okay, so you must be some slickster. You must be a slickster for doing that shit. I ain't gonna say you must be a thief, but no, I ain't gonna say that because I don't know what the fuck you be doing. But if you can steal like your teacher's purse, you must be stealing some small shit out like of stores. I remember some some of my old friends used to do that shit, you know. We used to uh 
Um, they used to go to Walmart, you know, steal some games or like some shirts and shit like that. I mean, I was a youngin back then. Anyway, yeah, but um, I know I was a youngin back then. Like, still not, not even. No, I wasn't. I'm never a thief. I'm never a thief. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't steal out of those type of stores and none of that shit. But at the same time, you know, I can't remember the last time I had ever done that. But hey, good for you. Good for you, G. You doing that shit? Then you slick. Shit. One girl said, every time I get mad, her baby daddy turn off the Wi-Fi using her phone. And if she's mad, wait, hold on. Let me, let me read this out. I'm, I'm tripping. It says, every time I get mad at my baby daddy, I turn off the Wi-Fi using my phone. If I'm mad, you is too. I'll get the fuck out of here. First of all, oh hell no. I, I, I don't get this one. It said, every time I get mad at my baby daddy, I turn off the Wi-Fi. So first of all, you gonna turn off the Wi-Fi and be petty as fuck just because y'all had a little argument or like, he didn't buy you this or this and that. Like, bro, you're tripping, first of all. And this is funny. If you turn off the Wi-Fi in a family house, they all gonna come out of some places random as fuck and be like, what the fuck happened to the Wi-Fi? Your neighbor might come out the corner talking about, hey, what happened? Is y'all good type shit? Bruh, that shit was low-key funny the other day because that shit low-key happened in Family Guy or American Dad. I don't know what the fuck was going on, but that shit was funny. But that's petty as fuck what you doing. You not finna turn off the Wi-Fi because of that shit. I don't know, if I, that was me, I, I definitely would've been mad as fuck though. Okay, but at the same time, I got my own Wi-Fi on my phone, so I'm smart enough to have something like a backup plan. You stupid as fuck. <laughs> All right, uh, let me see. The next one. She said, "I had five boyfriends before." Cap. What at the same time? You trying to be a hoe or something? Oh, oh, I forgot. Girls are slick with that shit. You know, they be like. Have a side nigga at the side nigga at the side nigga at the oh, bro, it's repetitive. I ain't gonna cap because I'm not gonna say I was a side nigga, but there was once a time where there wasn't. Eh, no, nah, I ain't gonna say that because I don't want to seem like I'm a cheat. I'm a cheater or like I'm just doing this and that. Hell no, nah. you know what? Because you know. Uh, I guess I'll say it because I was 16 back then, but at the same time, I don't do that shit now. You know why? Because I'm a loyal ass nigga. And if I get that one girl, bro, dead ass, that's it. I ain't chasing out the dude at all. At all. But five boyfriends, though? Girl, come on. You can do better than that, though. Like, come on. Just, damn, them four niggas must not have been doing it for you to do that shit, though. Like, okay, she must have one nigga that bought her clothes. One nigga to buy her food, one nigga to drive her everywhere she wanted to go. She got one nigga like, you know, buying her these tickets to games or whatever. And then she got one nigga buying, buying her nails and getting her feet done type shit. You know, it, it's gotta be something. Cause I can't see how, oh my God. And then imagine they all met up with each other at a mall or like a store type shit. You fucked at that point. That's your fault. Like, <laughs> Bruh, oh my god, I can't I'm literally imagine this shit. And then what if, and take this with a pinch of salt, what if they all met up with them, with her in the middle, and then they get to thinking, maybe we can run this hoe. Maybe we can run the trip, bruh. <laughs> bruh, this shit is low-key funny. I am not capping, like dead ass. This is, this is crazy as fuck, my mind, me thinking of this shit, I don't know. You literally, this is reminds me of, you know, never mind. One says, caught my ex with a guy at her house, ended up blamed for a hickey by her mom. I didn't do. Oh. Ooh, that's. Oh, you, you don't. I can't, I can't explain that one, because if I, oh. How young was y'all? Was y'all like 15 or some shit? Because first of all, if y'all grown, why the fuck do she care at this point? You, If you over 18, your mama shouldn't really care about your sex life. But this, uh, this sounds like some young shit. Yeah, it's gotta be. But at the same time, how the fuck 
You, um, you know what? This generation at this point, bro. Cause yo ex with another nigga, you must be not hitting it right. You must, and bro. You must. Girls don't cheat unless it's something that their nigga's not doing. If she's not enough attention, not enough love, care giving, whatever, bro. It's a lot. I just don't see. A girl cheating unless she just wants to when she just wanna hold around and she wants more dick or something. Or it's just not big enough, bro. I don't I don't know. It's just weird, bro. That ass. It's just it's just don't seem right. It sounds stupid at the same time too. But you know what I ain't gonna lie, cause I, I was I was I got cheated on before. But I was about like Yeah, I was about 14 when that shit happened. And we was all young at the same time. Girls didn't really care about having one boyfriend. They just wanted to have different boyfriends in high school, make it seem like, you know, they dated everybody. They have a little competition. That shit was weird back then, bro. Like, I ain't, I don't know. Warrensville was, war it was corny as fuck. I didn't even like that school, no cap. After my 10th grade year, I just said, fuck it. I'm gonna move into sh somewhere else in 12. But, uh, yeah, this video was funny as fuck. Some of y'all secrets are just corny or just weird as fuck bro like dead ass this is funny though but uh i appreciate it for y'all for sending them in make sure y'all like comment subscribe turn these post notifications i need y'all to share this video comment down below what other videos y'all want me to do because dead ass i need to run this shit up y'all see me i ain't posted about a, almost a week and that's because either I don't have a lot of people to do videos with. It's not enough talent in Cleveland for me to collab with. You know, not like in Atlanta, like I was doing like a while ago, or anybody in LA, New York type shit. Cause I'm about to go to Houston next week. No, no, not next week, like another three weeks type shit. But when I go, y'all gonna definitely see me dropping a lot, no cap. But yeah, like I said, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, share, share this video. And like I said, at the end of my videos, always keep a spare key.